yesterday. There is a reason that Team FD exists. There is. So. There is. And, uh, it is a it is a long dark story that I don't want to relive. And I was I was playing him yesterday, and I found out why. No, exactly. You play friendlies for him for ten minutes. You'll know exactly why T Team FD exists. Fair enough. Well, either way, Sink, who has been doing some work here today, wound up beating uh, wound up beating Sauce in winners quarterfinal and yes. the Gamer Z in semis to make his way to winners final here against BCE Juice. And I'm so happy to see Juice back in winners finals. I'm happy to see that like. It's, it feels like it may have taken him a little bit to find his footing in this game, but I'm so happy to see him try out new characters and just feel more comfortable as a player. Yeah, and not only that, oh! go with the Falco, although it went flying the opposite direction that he would like. Sink is also a, is also a player who seems very comfortable in this game. Yeah, seriously. I mean, uh, putting in some work and Sink. With what he has done in the bracket thus far, beating people like MVP and Blue, and of course Sauce, the person who wound up taking out 6WX in winning round four. That's correct. Sending him to losers. The uh, the amount of work that he's had to put in in order to get in order to get here every should not week, be overlooked. Every week at Bears. That's what it's become now. With how many people we're getting at these tournaments, you cannot make it to winners finals without beating multiple demons. Yeah, and this Krom looking to shake off some teams. <laughs> Double down tilt. Drag down forward air into grab. That's a great option. Where is Sink from? Sink is from New Jersey. He, is okay, P uh, he was PR there in Smash 4. I'm not sure. Oh, that's right. I haven't been following him super much. Uh, oh, he was a, he was a cloud man. Yes, he was. Yeah, no, he, yes. won, uh, he won one of the Platinum Star Smashes. Yes. I believe. Oh, wow. He's going in with all the aerials. Oh, oh, spot dodge. Both players have, have really good spot dodge spot dodge, uh, spot dodge timings this set. Use your words. I'm attempting to. <laughs> no, I, I respect the effort. Yes. Juice. Ooh. Oh, man. Trying and it to looked like he was holding out, too. That might have not been the DI he wanted. No, the you falling up air max range is so scary. It gets so much for Krom. And Juice has to do a lot to finish this up. I mean, he's neutralizing Falco's aerials extremely well, aside from that neutral air. Yeah. I mean, a sword is really great for that. Yeah. Oh, reflector against the up B? I mean, okay. I don't, know what, I, I don't know what arcane knowledge Tony has been telling this man. Well, oh, he fell off the back air. That was so cheeky. Oh, There's one that, stock. The down air. By Juice, he could very well be back in this thing. If he got, if he has that timing every time on the down air, this is going to be really rough for Sink. He needs but to he's got to play almost perfectly. He needs to be in his face and not relent one bit. However, he has a little bit of space now. Does oh, Sink. I love the fade back on that forward air. He saved his life. Oh, but he was running away. Didn't get that he got so he got some unfortunate DI there. You know, Juice trying to bait out a reaction, and unfortunately that reaction was a sword to the beak. Yep. And uh, that Falco's wings could have just been clipped there. We saw. I liked what I saw one. from Juice in that set. I saw I saw a very confident down air against Crom's up B, and like I said, if you have those, that Crom's uh, recovery, if he if he has to use the up B, he should be down every time. So now, the ZSS getting broken out. And as I say that, he picks one of the characters that cannot do that. Yeah. Well, I mean, there, there is certainly some advantage to be had here for, uh, for Juice, right? Yes, absolutely. ZSS is a character with fantastic movement, a projectile which gives Crumb pause if it doesn't shut him down completely, uh, disjointed neutral air, uh, grab aerial, at the Lots of stuff. At the very least, disrupt at the most destroy. Yes. I like it. Ooh. Uh, however, it's Sink. Jab Could be destroying here. the bracket hopes of Juice here. Who, yep. uh, Sink, he is two wins away, of course, from a spot in grand finals. Oh, he's the startup was a little too long on the side B for him to get it against the Prom's uh, Aether. I like that down to the lot. He was he was ready for that for that up air. He had that fully scouted out. 
Oh my! Oh, there and it is! There you go, Juice. Bats it away. Get so, that mess out of my house. Juice has a plethora of options against that side, uh, against that upbeat from Krom. Yeah, I mean, you could definitely see, and we saw two of them there. In fact. Yeah, we've seen two so far. Now the back air tags him a little bit. Now it's oh, on jab lock, damage. nice. In neutral jab locks. Looking for that uh. Upbeat, just a little bit late. Hesitated there, did you? He was a. Uh, he had the wrong read on that grab. And that's Damn another it. kill. That's so consistent for Krom. Yep. Eventually going to get that stock, and it's, wow. a, da it's a dangerous dance that Juice is. Uh, that, that Juice is doing right here, but. You're going to go into the air against that Krom. We've seen Sync swat Juice's, uh, both of Juice's characters out of the air yes. on a very consistent basis. And Juice, oh, not a whole lot he can do about it. However, the Barry. That should be it. All right. Rocket kick off the top. That's right. It's been a while since I've been able to say that. It's It has been. The change, the ch I mean, they, they must have had you in mind when they made the changes to that move in this game. Oh, you would have to think, yeah. Wait, and honestly, the that's a little guy disrespectful. Needs to stop. That's a little <laughs> disrespectful. Oh my God, that's that is. If that was Smash Four, he would have been dead. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, the fade back. That's it. Ooh, there you go. Oh Double my God. Rocket kick and juice. Looking to looking to rocket his hopes. That fade back. The fade back was really good, but for Sync, that's got to be something. That's got to be an. That's got to be something that you know how to do from Smash Four. When a ZSS whiffs their up B, you can't commit until you know which where they're gonna drift. You can't commit to that punish until you know which side they're gonna end up on. Sync committed very early with the forward smash to the left, and that was all the information that Juice needed to just drift behind him and get the up B again. The, not only the adaptation, it's like the reflexes have always been there yes. for Juice. And for both players. I've seen broken. crazy re re reactions from Sync in this set. Yeah, but the, it's the mental aspect of uh, Juice's game that has come about as we go to Battlefield for game number three. It's the mental aspect that allowed him to reach number one in Smash 4. Yes. And that's uh, the patience that was learned by playing different characters. The And really just uh, being able to read and react. It was It's what was missing from his game. And uh, by the time I got here, he was the best player in Philadelphia. Yes. But you saw him before that. What exactly was it? What was the biggest change that you saw between old juice and the juice that has come about over the past year? Decision making. Uh, honest, I think I think decision making is the biggest issue because he, you can, you can grind execution on your own. You can grind execution in friendlies. Ooh. You can you can you can optimize your punishes as much as you want. But knowing when to do all of your character's options. And ZSS is a character with a lot of options. Knowing when to use each one, oh. like these up airs, oh, knowing nice. when to reset into Rocket that combo. Oh my god. Juice, he was playing from behind for a little bit, and now he finds himself out in the lead, albeit not by much. But uh, Sync was doing quite well at first, but then uh, just getting oh, These up combos are insane from Juice. Oh, just up aired. Ad infinitum by the number one in Smash 4. And indeed, as we as we approach a new PR season, Juice looking to make a name for himself. Absolutely. And it sounds so simple, but Juice knows exactly when to press each button. Like, he knows, it's okay, Krom. If, if he knows, like he knows when to up air, he knows when to down tilt, he knows where to do all these moves. And it sounds so simple and so obvious, but it's so, it's a thing that takes so much practice and experience. Indeed, and now, as we're seeing uh, Zink, who's doing quite well for himself, all things considered, although, I mean, losing two successive stocks, not exactly inducive to yeah. success. Not however, what you want to see. However, I mean, perhaps slowing things down a little bit. Oh, that tech. a little bit more composure. Oh, wow. Yeah, Beautiful. no, yeah, that because that was the jab back air again from Krom. That's how Sync's been getting I, at least like, two or three of the stocks in this entire set. But uh, teching on the platform saves his life there, and gives an opportunity to do more damage to Sync's last stock and take the lead in this set. Sync with the tilt. 
And okay. Falling, finally, yeah. That was, looked like a falling up air. Uh, but uh, that was a very healthy stock for, uh, for, for Juice. Yeah, I mean, and you're bound to die off the top when you're playing a character on the lighter yep. side of the spectrum. However, the that's it. rocket kick off the top. That's a JV2. Yeah, pretty much. And that's uh, double that's zero on the board, and you can put it on the board for Juice. And that's Juice going up two to one. So now Juice, one game away. Sink needs to pull this back. What are you expecting from him? Not Town and City. I was not expecting that. Yeah, okay, so let, let's let's go through what we know about Town and City. The highest ceiling in the competitive. Huge uh, on stage area. Very long stage. A lot. And I was so. not expecting Cloud either. Okay. Well, I mean, hey, he's going back to his Smash 4 main. That's it would true. make sense. That's true. And, it, and, and not only that, had a little bit of success at Platinum Stars against Juice. Yeah, that's true. And I'll tell you what. Uh, how many times have the two of us casted Juice versus Cloud? Yeah, absolutely. It feels, it feels like it feels like innumerable times that I've seen this matchup. Let's First see. time in this game. I mean, the, one of the better sets that I ever commentated here at the lab was between uh, Spiro and Juice. And Juice. The they ten, would always bring the best out of each the other. The ten too. game classic. Yeah. Yeah, right, the day before Brotherly Love, they were exhausted going yeah. into that. And it was because they wanted to win We Bear Bears. I want to say it was somewhere in the 140s? You remember better than I would. Either way, uh, Juice trying to get some representation for Philadelphia in Grand Finals here. Got to have it. And it has been represented by 6WX four, uh, four times in a row. Of course, that streak has been broken. Oh, the rocket kick once again. And Juice finds himself one stock closer. However, uh, Sync looking to even things right up, maintaining stage control, but back into neutral they go. And he's, he, he seated it a little too easily there. Yeah. Although he does take the stock. Yeah. And this is this uh, an, an even game so far, which is, I guess, what you want to what you want to see for Juice, um, because he has the the onus of adapting is now on him because Sync made the character change. He knows exactly what he's up against, and Juice has to adjust to fighting this cloud. Juice is looking to make his first Grand Finals appearance since losing to Blazing Pasta 3-0 back in Codename Bears 167. Okay. That was, uh... Oh, he's just hunting him with oh these up there. Oh, my! Bears. I mean, Cloud is one of the heavier characters, I do He's heavy-ish. He's, he's heavy actually, ish. like, he's his weight is exactly 100. I mean, the, so the sword's probably heavier than he is. Let's be That's real. true. Oh, oh my, he's he's there. pokes him. Yep, get out. We'll here. You know what? You look. You look like you want to go to the blast zone. Let me yeah. help you. Boom. There you go. That's all he needs to do. Give you a lift. Two units heavier than Mario. That is good to know. Yes. Although, of course, I, I do believe it's still uh, once he has limit, he becomes just a little bit heavier. No, it's not weight. It's like movement. Uh, movement attributes. Weight does not change. There. Well, Wait, he doesn't definitely change, feels character. heavier, however, oh. is there. And Juice will find his way into Grand Finals. That's and right. Sink, I mean, tip of the hat to him. He was uh, he was performing pretty well, but ultimately playing from behind that whole game three and could not maintain the lead when he had it. Juice just a little bit too much for the young man, and he will find his way to the elimination side of the bracket. He'll face either, uh, he'll be facing either Bonk or uh, I believe the Great Gonzalez. Mm-hmm. And that's uh, that's gonna be.